aka Lahara here today and I am going to be bringing you the much promised ponytail tutorial on the hack that I did in my last video it's hard to explain because I had already done it and it was a old ponytail but today we come in fresh okay we come in brand new we're giving them something they are not expecting are you hearing me are you hearing me okay you feel that no me either okay but anyway so we're gonna get started and I'm gonna jump right into it. Now, if you wanna know how I got my 4A hair laid like this, go see my last ponytail video and that's all about the schlickness. And I'm gonna put it in the eye. Never really sure which side it goes on, but it's gonna be on one of these sides. And you click it, click the video, it'll open it in a new window so you can stay here and enjoy, sip your tea, learn some new things, and then that video will be waiting for you like a valet car. All right, let's go. The first thing you're gonna need, are you with me? Are we here? We're here, is some weed. And when they gave me the weed, I said, you can keep the change. This is not real hair. I don't know why you wouldn't know that, but this is fake hair. Connecalon. So now this is crochet braiding hair. This is expression African collection. Snap with the exclamation mark. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Three times more pre-loop fast and easy fast and easy styling deep twist 12 inches and i have it in the color one uh-oh zoom in on that for the people i don't have an assistant i'm just gonna edit the zoom in but it's okay we, we go get there you're not gonna leave this hair in the pack don't know what you thought was happening here but that's not happening today take the netting off okay Take the netting off. We've got bundles. We've got bundles on bundles. I'm thinking like two of these. That's the beauty of this style too. You can keep adding until you feel your volume is, is good enough and it's not that, you know, 08 track hair from the beauty supply because that was an era for a lot of us. I wasn't allowed to wear weave at the time, but I, I saw some things, okay? I saw some, some unfortunate things. You're gonna take your weave. We gonna take. And this is what it's looking like. It's really, once you cut this little rubber band, this is what the hair is gonna look like. You're gonna have a bunch of pieces like this. Now, you're going to take one piece, like so. Boom. Now you can separate this if you want an even more natural look, but I would only do that if you're doing this technique with straight hair. This is curly hair, so it's gonna fluff a lot once we separate it. Now I came prepared with these hair bands, and these are just some hair ties I got off Amazon. I'm gonna see if I can link them in the description box below. Okay, so now we're gonna take this loop and we're going to bring it through our ponytail, you see? Take two fingers like this and just go through that little loop piece to just hold it open. And all you're gonna do is take both pieces, or you could just take one, depending on how you want this not to be, pull it through and pull. And you have one knot. And we're gonna do this a few times. So if y'all got lost on the way, cause I know some people have never dealt with crochet hair in their life. So this is a very everyone friendly tutorial. So we're gonna do this one more time. This is what one piece of crochet looks like. It's got this little pre loop. That's what they talk about. It's a fold. Bring the hair through. Grab both ends of the crochet, hold it open, pull those two ends through, and then pull it and it'll create a knot. And you gotta pull it tight. And then you just slide each knot down like this. And this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna do it one more time. For those of y'all, you know what I mean, who be like, Bree, still don't, I'm still not seeing it. It's all good. We got, we are here, okay? I understand. Take this loop, you put it through this loop. You got this, you take these two ends and you just pull it through the loop. And then guess what? You got a knot. And so all of these are just gonna be knotted onto your hair tie. Unlike um, store-bought ponytails, you can actually control the thickness of your ponytail. So I'm gonna keep doing this, but now I'm gonna do it at regular speed. And another good thing that's good about this ponytail 
as, as opposed to tracks. With tracks, when you cut the tracks to fit the shape of the ponytail you're doing, it's kind of hard to keep, um, how do I put it, to reinstall it exactly how you had it. So I find that a lot of people only get one or two uses out of using a, the track wraparound method for their ponytails. You know, especially if you layered your ponytail. I find that this is good because you can use these infinite times. And then with the renewal method, all you have to do is sit this in some boiling hot water for a little bit with some conditioner and it'll revert right back. So you can use this almost infinite time. But see, we already put a decent amount. I think that's already half, like almost half the uh, the pack. But I mean, not the pack, the little bundle. As you can see, my hair is growing and not all of this, there's no way, no way that I'm fitting my hair level of thickness and density and all that underneath those little netted pre-made ponytail caps. But this is nice because you can also get ponytail holder size that's good enough for your hair thickness so let's say you have thinner hair you might want to go with a smaller ponytail holder and i just keep pulling this i'm gonna fast forward through this now i'm on cut out of control stroke a genius about to blow like you never seen before once a week post on instagram and they be screaming goals i'd be busy breaking molds catching ice i'm too cold yeah frappuccino mocha don't get all right, so I just finished doing all the loop-de-loops. I ended up only using about one in four pieces, and this is how it just naturally looks. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate, honey. So I'm a, I have this light here that I might be able to use as a way to hang this in, in frame so y'all can see it. Desperate times call for desperate measures, y'all. Oops, let's ignore this, okay. This gonna have to do, but I'm gonna just show y'all what separating looks like, okay? So I'm just gonna take a strand. You see it's already starting to separate on its own. And I just do it gently because, again, if you have curly hair, you know that this knotting at the bottom thing happens when you pull like that, and that could be a mess. Yes, methods! Okay, so I'm gonna go up in here, and as you can see, pieces that are, you know what I mean, gathered like that at the ends, you want to start by wrapping the ends backwards a little bit and separate the bottom first. Then I come up and I separate. And I'm going to do that all throughout this hair. Easy way to separate is to smooth downward. Just take your time with it. Be gentle. And again, you only have to really do this once. And then after that, this ponytail will just be ready to go whenever. These cameras all around me. Always TMZ in my vicinity They be trying to bling on my frequency Got my fingers covered in Swarovski Champagne breath from the party Fendi balls hanging from my car keys How do I put this harsh? Play a fake bitch like a Barbie All right, y'all, so the ponytail is officially all separated this is what it looks like actually when it is separated and of course it's gonna frizz out more throughout the weeks years months all that so now it's time for the moment of truth <laughs> show this in my last video how i did this but i'm gonna show it a little bit more in depth this time around okay so now I have my banded ponytail right here. You'll see this definition on the ends. And I know I don't need extensions, y'all. I know a lot of people have told me that nobody needs extensions. But sometimes, girl, if my hair is wet and I gotta run out or something, like, a preference is a preference, okay, girl? I'm gonna take the band and I'm gonna stick it on my ponytail like this. This is on the bottom. So. Slide that on. I'm gonna take a little bit of the bottom half of my ponytail, which should be about this. Hold on. Make sure it's when you have it on that it's split all the way to the base. And I'm going to use it to cover my ponytail up a little bit. And it's okay if some of my ponytail shows through. As I said, this is literally just so that if this top hair moves out of the way, you still have the same curl pattern underneath. And I'm just gonna take this kinda close to the, the middle of my ponytail, so that way it's gonna kinda move around and sliding that through so it looks something like this. And then this is where bobby pins or anything you have in that region would come in handy. But not nearly as many bobby pins as you would need to wrap tracks around, I'll tell you that much. And then you're going to pin this down into your ponytail area. So all that's gonna do is keep this in place. 
we're gonna fluff it out and of course you can play around with this if you need more hair um, then of course by all means add some more I'm going to tie this around my ponytail to hide the bobby pin keep the bobby pin secure and to give it to that polished look the little two pieces I just wrapped I'm gonna take a bobby pin around those and just stick that back into my ponytail as well you can use an afro pick for this or anything that you have on hand y'all but I usually like to wear these kind of like to the side got some swing to it oh hello Alright y'all, so I hope this tutorial was helpful and then of course anything that just makes your ponytail feel more like you, you can add some barrettes, you can add some clips, some hair jewelry, just anything, um, then let me know. But you know, even though my hair is getting long, ain't nothing wrong with some more inches, some bundles, some inches, you feel me? If you know type for hair, when it's in ponytail form, if it's very humid outside, I love doing extensions because I know that they will not shrink no matter what texture I buy them in, they won't shrink. I don't like leaving the house with a ponytail and coming home with a bun, if you feel me. Comment below if you feel me on that. But anyway, y'all, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I hardly ask y'all to do that, but I'm going to start asking now because I looked at my analytics the other day and I saw that 50,000 people per day watch my channel that are not subscribed. 50,000 and they're not all the same 50k definitely make sure if you like this video please subscribe because we are almost we're getting tipped hoeing towards that million line well we're almost at three quarters of a million so yeah and also check out my new single mindful it is streaming everywhere and i'll have that link in the description box below i love y'all peace out gang gang see you in my next video gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang.